Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Uh, this video here, what I want to talk about is this screw right here that holds the bearing hub assembly on. You know, you're going to take this off to replace your cutting disc or, you know, maybe this bearing is growling and you need to just replace it or well, for whatever reason you're taking that off and you can't get this off. Um, <clears throat> maybe you have a, an Allen wrench that was slightly rounded out when you put this in there. Uh, maybe somebody else over tightened it using power tools or whatever. Uh, whatever reason you can't get that off, it's stuck and you go to try to turn that loose and your Allen wrench just spins in that head. What do you do? Well, what I like to do, and I already did it on this one here so I could just save time to be able to show you this, is I like to use a <clears throat> thin cutoff disc on a grinder. Uh, this is for a four and a half inch uh, grinder. This is an 045 cutting disc here. Um, that's what I like because it's nice and thin. But you take that and you just cut a slot right across there. Right through where your Allen wrench would go. Right in that hex right there. Just cut that right through. Don't have to go real deep. I would just go down to where you can see like you're starting to hit the flange. And that's going to be enough meat on either side. You can see that because this is this is so uh, wide, you know, if you're using a brand new one, obviously it's going to be pretty wide, but you know, when it's worn down, it's still going to catch and it does end up cutting through the plastic on the bearing housing. Not a real big deal, especially if you're replacing that bearing anyway, you know, if that's the reason why you're taking this apart. But the whole thing here is to get that slot going across there because then you can take a large straight screwdriver like this, you can put that in there like so, and then you can hold your cutting disc and you can turn the screwdriver in that slot, take that screw out, just like that. And a lot of times doing that, <clears throat> also if it's seized up, you know, you're cutting across there, that's going to heat up this screw a bit. So if it was really stuck, you know, if it was really corroded, um, that could help to, to loosen that up. So just a good thing to do. Real simple, before you start trying to drill it out and all that other stuff that could go go uh, horribly wrong, just cut a little slot in there. Put the screwdriver in, and as you saw, I just tightened that up there. So when you go to order a new one, if you do need to get your mower back up and running, you could temporarily put that back in there using the screwdriver to put that back together. I would definitely get a new one though, because that's just the way you should actually really fix things. Um, as far as the bearing housing, you say, oh, when I just cut those slots in there, the big thing is you want to cut down to the flange, like I said, on the screw, but you don't want to get further than that because you don't want to cut into the bearing and you don't want to put a lot of heat in that bearing or anything. Again, if you're replacing the bearing assembly and that's the whole reason why you're taking it apart, then it's not a big deal, you know, um, but to get you by until your new parts come in, like I said, you can put the screw back in there, tighten it down with your screwdriver and you can actually put this We'll put the skid plate back on there. If you put the uh, put the cover on there, if you didn't go too far, you actually didn't even go down to where the, the skid plate is at, and you can put this on there, and that will cover up that that will cover up that slot in there, so that you're not getting um, moisture in there in that area. There we go. So that's it. So if you have that screw stuck, that's the easy way to do it. Um, remove all this stuff, get down to it, take your, uh, take a grinder, cut a slit in there. Again, just go down to where you're just barely going to the flange and then straight screwdriver instead of an Allen wrench. And you can turn that right out of there. Worst case scenario, that doesn't work. What you can do is you can line it up since you already have the, the two spots cut, um, here, you know, across. If you've already cut through this bearing housing a little bit, line it up. 90 degrees off from that and then you can I guess uh, yeah and then you could uh, put another slit through there so then you can get a Phillips head down there if need be but usually with the flathead screwdriver um, works just fine you saw me just do it there a couple times over and over again and we actually did that on the mower on this mower here to get this one out because this was stripped out so that's gonna do it for this video here if you need to replace this screw this bearing assembly you want to replace your whole auto mower and buy a new auto mower place to go is www.roboticmowerservices.com. That's where you'll find whole automowers, accessories, parts, tech support, and all the good stuff. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can contact us through the website. You can send us an email direct, info at roboticmowerservices.com or tech support at roboticmowerservices.com. 
that is going to do it for this video here. As always, be sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.